Hi, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the content and development kit that we use here at Glimmer. Now, I think it would be useful if you go to iTunes and download our sample app to get an idea of, you know, what I'm what the end product is. So go to iTunes, search for Glimmer, click on apps, and then look at the iPad apps and download the the Glimmer viewer here. And then in here, once you download it, you can look into the uh, directory and there'll be a sample wedding that you can download and take a look at it. And then now I'm going to show you what I did behind the scenes to create this app. It's actually uh, quite quite simple as far as putting it together. Well, uh, let me clarify that. The CDK portion is simple that uh, it assumes that most of the design work and the layout you've already done. For instance, um, I, I'm this the sample wedding that we did was in uh, we did it with help from Studio THP. In fact, it's all their content. They even created the the, the theme. It's their videos, and we uh, did the app portion. So what I recommend you do is you create a folder, files by page, or some folder that has all the content that you're going to work with and put everything in by page. So here's the cover page, index page, page 2, you know, counting from uh, the index. And then, so in 2, here's, here's ba the basic layout. This was done in InDesign and these are Photoshop documents here. And then what I'm going to do is just slap this into the CDK and uh, and use this as the background and then I just add the highlights, the videos, and the more interactive portion to this background. So let me go to the next page. Let me go to page three. Here's another sample here that this was already done and laid out. So once this layout is done, most of the work, in my opinion, is is done. This is the hardest part. And so uh, the studio THP sent that to me this this background and these extra images and then I put it together using the CDK which I'll show you right now so launch the tool and we will see um, I'm just gonna create a new these these are for op creating new and importing and these will be used for creating new pages removing um, and then finally the publish page so create new I'm going to call this sample wedding glimmer and studio THP sample wedding and we'll do 760 and we'll do horizontal and it, it asks where you want to uh, save this I'm going to save it here in the top directory for I'm actually going to do it in Studio THP on the desktop. Okay, I'll save it here. This is the uh, actual con uh, CDK save location for its database. Okay, now what I want to show you is how to add pages. When you do, when you click the new button, you get by default the cover and the index. Now you can either click new page here and give it a title, page two, and it's a content page. By default, they're all content pages. These special cover and index are only created when you start a new project. So that's one way. And another way is by the time I'm using the CDK, I know how many pages I want, so I just do bulk insert pages, type in how many, say we want 14, and click OK, and it'll create them. OK, let's continue. I was going to change the uh, the names of these files, where you go in page 2, it has 2, but it's actually going to be 3 in the CDK. And um, this is how it was sent to me, and it's not um, that important, really, as long as you keep track that um, this is page three and if you want um, you can you can rename that if you want to, to two but um, it's really not a big deal 
just as long as you keep uh, keep track of it some way. Okay, so let me uh, add a background to this page because this will be the first interior page. So this will be uh, a good thing to show. Okay, so now we have a cover, an index, and a background. So let me show you just a couple of features here. You saw how I added a background. Let's go to the index page and uh, I right click on the index page and you see you can add a text box which is just pretty much what it says you can uh, write text on the screen I don't use that ever because I use Photoshop or InDesign to do it and then I just export it so the the pictures will look uh, as you know as good as they can and um, add a text file add a focus now the most common ones are add picture and add a focus and um, now let's do add a uh, I'm going to add a picture and I'm going to browse for actually I'm going to show you um, I'm not going to add a picture this way the, the most common way to do this I'm going to add a little Facebook and Twitter like I did in the uh, demo that you, that you um, might have seen now so you just make uh, a, a square the size you want the graphic to be right click on it and say add picture and then browse for the picture and I have this in the um, index page and I'll say Facebook open and then what I do to make sure it's exactly the size I want is I will go to the the actual icon itself and then find the pixel see it's 42 by 43 and so what I do here is I say 42 by 43. The left and, right, uh, and top portion will be accurate according to this up top left portion. So that's the most important thing. The size of this is doesn't matter so much because we updated the width and height here. Here's the file and I click OK and you'll see there it is. So and what I also do is I will click on this see I'm over here index page picture right click on it and edit and I, and I a lot of times I'll write that down 815 815 and then 694 and the most uh, and the reason I do that say I want to now I, I want to add a Twitter I'll go right next to here I want to add a Twitter button right click on it oops and this is a common problem here is that you do this and you can't click on it so what that means is I was already on the picture see it's highlighted here picture I need to be on the index page and then come back here and create your highlight your area where you want your picture click add picture and then now see it says left the other one was 815 which is fine I'm shifting this over but the height I want it exactly the same spot so I'm going to type 694 and then I'm going to make sure I have the right dimensions for the uh, Twitter which is 42 by 43 so 42 by 43 because you don't really want to uh, distort or resize the graphics at least I don't I want them to fit exactly the dimensions of the iPad and I need to select the button or the graphic and there you go and now right now we have the background and two graphics now I want those to actually do something so all you do now make sure the index is selected which it is so it's working on this whole page then highlight the area you want clickable right click on it and then say add focus now add focus pretty much lets you basically means it's it's clickable you know it's tappable and it'll do something so you click that add focus and then you say well what do you want it to do and in this case I want it to jump to an HTTP link which will have the details about Facebook saying look what I made or come check this out and it'll pull graphics that you can uh, put thumbnails to but just look here at some of the other options you can jump to another page in the in the uh, in the app here you can pop up a text box pop up a picture. okay continuing on the uh, options here are you know jump to an HTTP link which could be a web page or uh, you know, Twitter Facebook LinkedIn uh, link play an audio file when you tap it pop up a video pop up a picture these are the 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 four I used in this sample app I didn't really use any of the others for add focus so jump to an HTTP link right now I'll just do simple 
web page that there it is you can see now there's this focus is you see the red highlight around the Facebook so click picture that's high that's highlighted click focus you can see that now say this little red dot is an interesting thing where that means when you go to this page that will blink briefly to let you know that this there's something you can do here you can tap it now say I wanted to move that to the upper left corner you just create a uh, a rectangle or square here that the center is where you would like the dot to be and I can just right click on it now and say change highlight position say OK and then now it'll be right there I can change it over here change highlight position wherever it, it, you can move it all over um, okay so now another thing this is the unique page this is an index and the way to create actually linkable indexes is you click on index so it's highlighted create what you want to be tappable in the, the region right click and say add index column and then you just say which page you want to go to go to page seven done that's it then go to the next jump to add index column go to page nine I'm just making these up right now and you get the idea add index column go to page ten done okay so that's the index now let's go to the first interior page now here there's multiple things you can do let's do one of the most common things and it's a uh, you want to pop out this picture so you can see a close-up so I'll make sure that two is selected highlight it right click add focus this is the most common thing and it's going to be pop-up picture and I leave everything else the same select file I'm gonna go files by page page two and the dress this is the full um, sized image click OK and then there there I can move that highlight again so click on the focus say I want it up here change highlight okay done okay so now let's click two so I'm working on the page again now go to video and here I can just right click and say add video and I uh, select it and it's page two I already have it in there and this is the one I wanted was uh, the dress shoes video and here you can do a bu you have a bunch of options you know allow the user to have controls this and that um, and th they're pretty self-explanatory so there's the video and it'll put a little video marker as it links it in so you know it's there okay and that's pretty much what you do here and what I've done with studio THP since they gave us all this great content and did the design and, and did a bulk of the work here for this demo I would hi highlight um, make sure to select it highlight it right click add focus jump to HTTP and I would add their URL and this could be your company's uh, your uh, company's URL studio THP.com there you go okay and then let me show you one last common feature here is the what I call a slider let's go to page let me see what page I have a slider for I have a couple sliders and I'll explain what those are okay so this is page three let's just add I can rename this if I want to but um, edit page title we'll call it three add background picture go to page three background picture from the template and then now what I want is just somewhere over here I actually have an icon that I added to the InDesign that um, I, don't, I don't have in this version but I just added select three and I added a focus just a random you know blinking light will come here and I'll say add focus and I'll say pop-up picture I'm gonna